So we're looking at NMAT con strategy. So based on a new pattern that has come up. So these are courses that we're running for NMAT. One is the NMAT Snap Online Workshop. So the one co workshop is already going on. So the new workshop will start from 1st of December, which will be for both NMAT and Snap. There is NMAT Test Series. There is NMAT Snap CMAT video which are there. And you can purchase this on the website or you can call for more information. Coming to the paper pattern, we are looking mainly at cons, that is 36 questions and 52 minutes. Okay, this is what the paper pattern is. In terms of the syllabus, broadly speaking, there is number properties, again cons, arithmetic, again cons, algebra and pro probability, cons. So these are three areas of maths. There is no geometry, remember that. Most of the other things like algebra, arithmetic, everything is there, but the geometry is not there. The major part is not there. Okay, and apart from that, you have data sufficiency and DI. So DI, you can have around 12 questions to 16 questions, data sufficiency around 5 to 6 questions, and rest will be mathematics. So broadly speaking, this is a breakup. So if you look at pure mathematics question, could be around max to 18 questions approximately, max. And the rest of the questions could be DS and DI. That's what is expected. So normally in DI also, there could be each set is of 4 questions which means you could have three to four sets which are there. From that, one set is expected to be easy at least, but the rest, two sets, one medium and one tough. The tougher could take more time, but the easier set to, could take lesser time. So technically, you should try to save time on the easier set and then put more time on a tougher set. Save the data sufficiency. There will be, you can normally solve DS faster than a max question. So if you can solve DS fast, you can save time on DS and use this for mathematics. That's how the general pattern is. If you look at time per question, so normally a con question, I'm giving 1.5 minutes per question approximately. So the 18 questions will take you around 27 minutes for the 1.5 minutes. DX, there could be six questions, so 1.25 will give you around 7.5 minutes. DS should ideally take less than con. It can even finish in one minute, depending on how the questions are. But yes, DS can finish fast because it will only find out whether it's sufficient or not. You need not calculate. So do practice DS. That's one area where you can you know, gain marks. DI easy set should ideally finish within one minute. So I'm assuming one set easy, two set tough. But tougher set could take 1.75 minutes per question. So it's in the four questions per set. So it could take you around 7.5 minutes for four questions if a tough set. Easy set should be able to complete in one minute per question or four minutes per set. Okay, the general pattern which is there. So seven minutes, sorry, seven minutes per set, and this is four minutes per set. So there's one way of going about. But problem is that it is very difficult to keep a track of what con question, what di question you solve, or when you solve the paper. So one more way of keeping track is trying to look at minutes and questions. So in ten minutes, the first ten minutes should ideally finish seven questions. I mean that is easier to track. So if I'm solving a paper which is fifty-two minutes, thirty questions. So you can say every 10 minutes, I should finish seven questions, which means in 50 minutes, I should be able to complete 35 questions. If I'm behind schedule, suppose in first 10 minutes are over and I'm only still solving five questions, which means I should go a little faster. I should ideally guess mark more questions and tougher questions and go ahead. That's what I should do. Same way, 50 minutes, I should be 35 questions. So automatically 52 minutes, I should be able to complete 36 questions. So this will give you a fairly rough idea as to how to solve. So if I'm at 10 minutes, I'm at seven questions. Okay, if I'm at five questions, which means I need to hurry up and solve a little fast. Intelligent guessing and other things. But if I'm at ahead, like eight questions, don't slow down. Push, because there could be tougher questions later on that will require more time. So don't avoid being behind schedule. It's okay to be ahead of schedule. Okay, little behind is fine because it's possible that initial questions you may take more time because you want initial questions correct. But Ensure that you follow approximately this time limits. That should help you better. Right? I hope it's clear. Anyway, it's adaptive test. You cannot come back to a question. You will be only be able to master the strategy only once you are frequently solving a test. The more frequently you solve a test, the better you understand the strategy and the better you'll be able to solve the question in the exam. Right? Focus on your strategy when you're preparing. Also focus on the salient features of NMAT, like DS, the calculation-based DI. You need to be good at these. And if you're good at this, you should be able to do better as far as the exam is concerned. Thank you.